Hi, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel where I will share with you my love for books, art, stationery, coffee, travel, and more. Today, I'm going to share with you my Starbucks card collection over the years from 2013 up until 2020. Yes, I do have a 2020 card now. And also, I'm going to do a giveaway of two Starbucks 2020 travel organizers because it's better late than never, right? So to join the giveaway, I'm going to put the details down below. Please make sure to read them and follow everything because I will only have two winners. So this here is the mint one and this one is the coffee one. The reason why I'm going to give away travel organizers instead of planners is that they are just basically like notebooks and you don't have to be pressured to use this like as soon as possible this year because of the dates. You can use this any time of the year. Just make sure to use the coupons at the back because it's going to be just for the year 2020. Okay, so let's go! So are you one of those people like me who are collecting Starbucks cars because of the design? Well, welcome to the club and I'm happy to show you some of them, not all of them because some of them I've given to people I know to use. So I have an incomplete collection right here, but I'm going to show you my first ever Starbucks card, which is this one. This was released in the year 2013. That was the first time that Starbucks has introduced Starbucks cards in the Philippines. If I'm not mistaken, okay? Don't sue me. So um, I'm not a fan of the simplistic design because, well, it's just green background and two cups in front, but yeah, they can do better. But even though it's very simple and I'm not a fan of it, it's very memorable because it's my first one. The next card I'm going to show you is released with a planner. And this is funny because we don't have winter in the Philippines, but somehow the concept is winter or snow. And I do love the details here because there's a little bunny here. I'm part rabbit, so I like this detail. Up next is this card. I forgot if it was released May of 2018, but when I first saw this, I said, oh, I have to have this in my collection because it has gold foiling and the details. I am a sucker for details. And look at this details everywhere. I love it. There's a hummingbird as well, but I don't know what kind of flower this is though. I love flowers. I like that when the light hits this, the gold foiling just shines and glows and shimmers at me like, hi there. The next card is my only purple card. This is translucent and it's purple and when I saw this, it's like, I want a purple card to use, you know, first world problems in a third world country. But yes, I bought this because I didn't have a purple card in my collection. It has palm leaves as designs and uh, it's translucent. You can see my fingers. If you, can, you, can you see it? Up next is this card which came with a planner. Um, I think it is a 2019 planner it came with, but this was released 2018, I think. This is the Siren's Hand card. The background is kind of yellow. The cup is off gold foiling and I like it that way. So yeah, this is a special edition card. Up next is this card called The Siren's Tale. And can you feel the underwater vibe of this? Because I can. It has gold foiling for the scales and the tail. And what's interesting about this is that the gold foiling looks like it's floating. So there's a little bit of a 3D-ish effect in this card. I know that I have more Philippines cards, but they're not with me right now. They're with some people in their wallets. They're being used. But it's okay because this morning I went to Starbucks and got myself the 2020 Year of the Mouse card. It's color pink. I'm not a fan of pink, but if it's the shade of pink, it's forgivable. I like it. And it's so cute. I decided to add it to my collection. Yes. So nice! Anyway, that's it for my Philippines cards. Let's start with my Japanese Starbucks cards because I have more Japanese Starbucks cards than Philippines cards. The reason being, I went to Japan to study Japanese in the year 2015 up until the early quarter of 2017. So the Philippines cards that were released during that time, I couldn't get them. <sighs> but anyway, this is my first ever Japan Starbucks card. I got the Tokyo card because I lived in Tokyo. And this was when I was living in Sengdawaku for the first three months. What I like about this is that it captured the business, the urban side of Tokyo. It has the Tokyo Tower as well. And 
Just looking at it feels like, oh, I'm in business. I'm in Tokyo. I have a very busy life. That's what Tokyo is. Up next is my most favorite card. This is the Kyoto Starbucks card. I seem to remember there was a tumbler that was released together with this with the same design. I didn't get it. Why? I have no idea. Oh yeah, I didn't get it because I prefer the, the tumblers that, that can just retain the heat and the cold of the drinks. The Kyoto name itself is of gold foiling. You can see the Zen Garden right here, a silhouette of the traditional building. Oh, there is also a geisha right about here, um, but the sticker is covering it, so never mind. Next one is the Osaka card. You will see that there is the Osaka castle right here on this design. Here's the funny thing. I've been in Osaka for like four or five times already, but I've never been inside the Osaka castle because every time I go there, it's always closing time. The next card would be the Nagoya card. Um, I've been to Nagoya maybe three times. I seem to remember that I didn't get this personally yeah, I had a friend who went to Nagoya and got this for me as a souvenir. Nagoya is just next to Osaka and if you're going to visit Kyoto, you might as well go to Osaka and Nagoya. If you take the Shinkansen, it won't be a problem. Now let's go to the next card which is the Kobe card. I have never been to Kobe. Why do I have this card? Well. It's the same as Nagoya. I had a Vietnamese classmate who was going there at a time and I said please get me a Starbucks card from Kobe because I've never been there. I want to visit it sometime soon. Now looking at the Kobe design, I can't really relate to it. I don't know what the building is or where it is. So yeah, that's it for the Kobe card. Up next is the Nagano card. This Nagano card I got from my trip to Nagano and Matsumoto Castle. Suzaka City. Yeah, I went there with my husband and um, it was very cold. It was March 2017. The thing about provinces like Nagano in Japan, there are not a lot of people left. Mostly the old people are there. The young generation, they go to Tokyo, they go to the big cities because that's where the work is, that's where the universities, the big universities are. So during our stay in, in Suzaka, in Nagano, in Matsumoto, it's very nice because not a lot of people were there. We, we had the place all to ourselves practically. The next card is the Fukuoka card. Um, another card that a friend got for me. When my friend went to Fukuoka, I've never been there yet, so I asked her to get the Fukuoka card for me. The next card is bought in Fukuoka. I bought it personally when I went with my family in Fukuoka in March of 2018. During our stay in Fukuoka, this was the design that they have in their branch because it was early spring, so I got this and I've never had a Sakura um, card before, so that's what I decided to get at the time. And the last Japan Starbucks card I have here is this very cute cup-shaped Starbucks card. I can't remember which trip, if it's from the Aomori trip of 2018 or the Takayama trip in early 2019 can't remember. Look, this ear has a hole wherein you can dangle from your wallet or any, maybe your bag. I don't know, but I'm not gonna use it. It's just for collection purposes. Yes. I'm very clumsy. Am I not? <laughs> it shows. <laughs> anyway, that's it for my Japanese Starbucks cards. Now we go to my Taiwan cards. I only have a couple. Um, I went to Taiwan with my sister and brother-in-law and my husband in um, November of 2017. Yes, November of 2017. We visited Shilin and other places as well, um, even the National Museum of Taiwan. This is the first card I got from the same Starbucks branch I got the other one from. This one here is the, forgive me, okay, I'm not very good with Chinese pronunciation, Ching Ding. I don't know why I'm so embarrassed when I try to pronounce something in Chinese. The next one is this card, the Alishan. This has a train on it, a railroad, and someone taking a picture of it. Maybe this place is famous in Alishan? Maybe? 
but that's it. Now we go to the Chinese cards. I have two Chinese cards as well. This one was a gift from a good friend and I think it's it's a card from Guangzhou. Okay, because I'm very bad at it, this is this is the place. Guangzhou. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what's good. Chinese pronunciation or intonation in me. We're not a match, okay? This card is very interesting because it has gold foiling here at, uh, at the bottom. I think it resembles waves. What's interesting is that it's like, if you're familiar with Photoshop, it's like layers. And uh, this part here at the back, it looks, it, it's blurred. So as to look like there's a depth of field going on in this design, which I find very interesting. Kind of good, right? I also have this 2019 Year of the Pig miniature version of the 2019 Year of the Pig um, Starbucks card that we had last year in the Philippines. I got the uh, standard card size of that but I gave it to my sister because my sister loves pigs. Because I'm a good sister! You know who you are. Now! <laughs> What's interesting about this is that it also has a hole punched here so that it can dangle maybe with your set of keys. I don't know where you want to dangle it from but yeah, I don't plan on using this. Anyway, look at the pig, so cute! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, the foiling is also real! The last card I'm going to show you guys is the Indonesia Starbucks card. I got this from my Indonesian friend who visited me last um, November of 2018. And I saw this and I said, can you please give it to me so I can add it to my collection? I have never been to Indonesia. And she said, sure, fine, I, I got it. But with a promise that I'm going to give her a Philippines Starbucks card back. But yeah, those are my Starbucks cards from the year 2013 up until this year, 2020. Do you also think of starting your own Starbucks card collection? You have to start right now because I think the designs are getting more and more detailed as time passes by. I'm, I'm very grateful that from this design, which is very simplistic, it became very detailed. Oh my goodness, I like it so much. Also, please check the details down below on how to enter the giveaway. I will have two winners. These travel organizers have never been opened, not even once. They're very crisp and new and fresh, straight from the Starbucks cashier. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a love, give me a thumbs up. And if you would want to be notified of upcoming videos, I have a lot of projects coming, then please push that notification bell. Also, if you'd like to be a part of Purple Kai Studio, see more of my unboxings, my reviews, my vlogs here and there, and my weirdness, please subscribe. It's a free country. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, even though I don't post a lot, but still, I do try. Yes. Bye! <laughs> and also, I'm going to do a giveaway of two of... Where is it? <laughs> it's right here. Her Philippines... Oh my god. My hair is falling everywhere. I can make a wig with all the falling hair. The ching ding. <laughs> I'm not very good with Chinese words, characters, pronunciations, I find that I'm very bad at it. No matter how good I am with my Japanese, ch Chinese, I don't know. It's not my thing, hey. Alishan? Alishan. <laughs> Alishan? 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 Uh-huh. No idea. Alishana, Alishana, Wienna. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not making fun of it, but I'm making fun of myself, okay? My, my normal voice is not as loud as this, people. No. Right, my normal voice is... My dog just... Can you please, Zoe, can you please not stand in the middle of my tripod? Thank you. Guys, this is my first ever giveaway, okay? Get it while you can, right? Because I'm gonna think of another giveaway soon for you guys. I'm going to share my blessings to you and yeah, I have other stuff coming and I have a lot more videos um, in my list. Um, the thing that I don't have is time. Yes, guys, I'm only one person doing everything by myself, but still, I'm doing it. So it's a great thing. Um, I'm doing things for <clears throat> this year that I have never done in my life. 
which is learn a lot of stuff at the same time and do them at the same time. I'm not a very good multitasker people, except if I'm doing household chores, I'm just talking and talking and talking right here. Even if I'm done with my video, help me someone. I need help. Send help. <sighs> help me. Nope. No? Nope. All right. Sure. To each his own. Giving away Starbucks this month. Giving away Starbucks this month. Put it back where it came from and so help me. So help me, so help me. And cut. Looks so <laughs> Tell them, hey people, we're giving away Starbucks 2020 travel organizers. Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. She's very uncomfortable. Schnauzers are not lap dogs. They're, they're not. They look very small, but they're not. Ah, ah, no, no leaking, no leaking, please. Okay. <laughs> Bye!